So we're up to the part where it gets a little tricky because we're essentially saving a session on the browser. When you log in right now, all we're sending back is just either a status code, 200 or 400. 200 if it's successful, 400 if not. The status code is really meaningless um, as far as what you need to, uh, what you need on the front end. So um, what we're gonna need is a token. Why, why a token? Because think about it, if you sign into a website and then you close your browser or restart it, restart your computer, come back to that website, um, you wanna still be logged in, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. We're gonna get back a token, we're gonna save it in a cookie, a browser cookie that just it persists when you close and open the browser. And then when you go back to the website, you'll still be logged in. And um, if you wanna log out, you just delete your delete the cookie delete your token and you'll have to log back in again. So let's dive into the, what that looks like. So the first thing we got to do when you successfully log in is generate a token. So back on this page, we're going to use this library called JWT simple. So let's install that. Um, let me stop the server. NPM install. JWT simple, save. Okay, I think it just installed it. So now we can do fire JWT at the top. And now we're gonna establish a secret. It's like two parts to a, a JWT encoding. There's like the payload that you're encrypting and there's like the secret key. So um, the secret key is, is we can define it at the top. So let's do like var JWT secret. I'll do it in caps because like, we, we do uh constant var variables in caps. I, I, when I say constant, I mean like this is going to be, whenever you start your server, this is going to be the same. It's never going to change. You can change it. It's just like a good convention and to do all caps. So we can just do like cat's meow, just like a random little secret thing that only we know. And even if it gets found out, it's not a big deal. We could just change it and everyone's just going to have to log back in again. And you'll see why. So let's go back down. Now that we included our JBG simple and we made a secret key, um, let's go back down to where we log in and generate it. So var token equals, here's the code for encoding it. Um, Bar token equals JWT dot encode. Payload is going to be um, the user. I'm just going to encode the user. It has the user's ID, their username, their password. And the secret is going to be the JWT secret that we specified at the top. And in res.send, I'm going to send back an object. And remember, for objects, we do res.json. So res.json token colon token. Remember, we can make the key name and use the same word for the value. It's kind of confusing, but I mean, I can make this like my token just for clarity. My token, my token. That's what that corresponds to. But uh, I th the general convention is uh, just use the same word. So I'm going to do a general convention. So on the front end, um, when you successfully log in, it's this function right here. So I'm going to say... Um, res and then i'm going to show the token res dot token um it might be res dot by a token let's do console dot log to find out i don't remember what it is res oops oh i think it's resp i think it's just res dot token but let's just uh, log it um so let's go to mittens uh, our server let's start up the server Let's log in, sign in. Actually, let me refresh the page. Day five. Day. The reason I refreshed it is because I changed code on the front end. Whenever you change the front end, you got to refresh. Undefined. Hmm. Let's try res, see if res came back with anything. Day five. Day five. Okay. We have a response data. Okay, 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 it is res.data. 
so console.log res.data.token. That's where your token lies. So let's refresh it one more time. Day five, day five, and there we go. Signed in, and here's our token. So all we gotta do is just keep this token with us. So whenever we do something that requires authentication, such as making a new meow, um, deleting a meow, uh, anything like that, you have to authenticate because we will only want you deleting your own meows, not other people's. So keep this token with you. And whenever we make a request, we're gonna pass this in. So how do we do that? So let's save it in a cookie. How do we do cookies? Well, Angular has a library for that. So Angular cookies. Um, I think there. I think we have to download another file to do this. Cookies now standard API requires get cookies. Okay, we need Angular cookies to be installed. Um, again, what version are we on here? One four nine, right? Okay, so. Or an Angular 149, so I just need to put in 1.4.9, 1.4.9. Okay, this is Angular cookies. So basically, I just looked up uh, dollar sign cookies, which is the Angular cookies service. It says requires ng cookies modules to be installed. I click on that. It says get it from Google CDN right here. Um, there's an x.y.z thing that you have to fill in with whatever Angular version you're on. I checked the Angular version by opening one of the files I already downloaded and it says 149. So I pasted that in the browser link, 149. And there you go. So I'm gonna save as angular-cookies.js. Okay. I'm going to go back to my index. I'm going to include this file. Copy angular cookies, save. And lastly, I'm going to do ng cookies. Remember those dependencies? Here they are. Isn't here's our second dependency. So first dependency was ng route. Second one was ng cookies. Uh, for various reasons, these don't come packaged in with Angular because Angular is trying to be nice and lean, so they don't include that. So now that we have it, we have the ability to do cookies. So in our home controller, after you log in, I think I just do dollar sign cookies. That's the cookie service. So now I could do um, dollar sign cookies dot, I think it's put, let's look at the documentation. Um, right here, uh, let's go back. I think it's put, yeah, key value. So put, the key is gonna be, let's just say token, and the value is gonna be res dot data dot token. Uh, like that. Um, secondly, I'm going to do something in interesting here. I'm going to do dollar sign scope dot. Um, I, I want to be a, when I log in. I want to see my name on the on the website, so I know I'm logged in. So I'm going to save some like for example my username. So I'm going to say scope dot current user equals um, scope dot username. Okay. So I'm going to save the token and I'm going to set a current user variable that I'm going to use on the website. I'm going to say, hello, welcome to mittens, Dave five. Um, so to do that, I need to like, just save it here. So that's it. I put the cookie. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, let's go back here. Let's refresh the page. Um, Dave five, Dave five sign in rec is not defined oh sorry it's res 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 okay let's try that one more time day five day five sign in good 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 and let's take a look at our resources tab cookies localhost and boom right there we have our cookie saved so i could refresh the page and i'll still have my token right here so one more thing we want to do, there's something called app.run. I'll do it after app.config, we'll do app.run. It's another Angular thing. It's like, do all this stuff when the 
Angular app starts up. So the first thing I want to do when I start up is check to see if I have a token. So, um, actually, do I want to do this? Let me think for a second. Do I want to? Yeah, I guess I should show you how to do this. So first thing I want to do is check for cookies. So let's in include the cookies. Uh, do I send cookies? Um, actually, I should do roots. I should save the, uh, the current user in the root scope, actually, to be honest. Let me think for a second here. Current scope dot token. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do root scope for this one. So you have scope, which lets you interact with your controller. I mean, with your web page. But let's do root scope. Root scope is similar, but it's like a step above scope. It's like all your controllers share the same stuff on root scope. So I guess set like root scope dot cookie, root scope dot uh, bunny on one controller, go to another route with a different controller and do, and then like print out root scope dot bunny and it'll show it. So root scope is a simple way to share some stuff. So I'm gonna do root scope dot current user. Cause if I go to another page, I wanna save that, that username. And I wanna do root scope dot um, token equals res dot data dot token. So why am I doing something with res.data.token twice here? First of all, I'm saving it, but then second of all, I'm storing it in, in memory essentially so that I can use it on the fly. The reason I'm saving it though is if I refresh the browser, I can put it back in memory, which I'm gonna do right here. So, um, so what you do is if cookies.token, or sorry, if cookies, I think it's .get um, token, if that exists, then, um, do I do include root scope here? Anything that you work with in a, in a controller or like a run or config, you have to what's called dependency injection. You have to inject the name of the thing that you're working with, the name of the service. So I'm going to use the cookie service and I'm going to use the root scope service. So I do root scope dot token equals token, and um, I guess let's save the. Uh, Let's save the user to the current user. So let me do this. Um, there's so many ways to do this again, but we're just gonna do a nice, simply, nice and simply for demonstration purposes. Many ways to do save data in the, in the browser. And um, cause like another way I can do it is I can log in again. Whenever I start up the app, I can log in and get this again, or I could just save it and, uh, and take a look at it later. So many ways you could do it. So what I'm doing is I'm saving it and then whenever I restart my browser, I just look at it again. So root scope dot current user equals, um, let, me, let me just make sure I have both a token and a current user. User, okay, equals uh, cookies dot get token, this should be cookies.get current user. So this is just when I start up the app, the first time I refresh my browser, in fact, every time I re refresh my browser, it's gonna make sure that these exist and then set them in, in memory so we can use them easily. So let's go back here, refresh. Okay, let me just try day five, day five, sign in. Okay, and let me, can I refresh this? Fresh. Okay, so it saved day five as my current user in a cookie and it saved my token. So now I'm gonna hide this login box, this whole area I'm gonna hide when I'm logged in. I'm just gonna say, hello, day five. So how do I do that? That's where Angular comes in again. So this whole thing, this whole login area I'm gonna hide. So I'm gonna put this in a, in a div I'm gonna surround it with a div, the entire thing. Div. Let me indent that properly. And I can do ng show, or actually ng hide equals current user. So if there's a, if I'm logged in, hide this whole thing. How do I know if I'm logged in? Because current user is set. So that's pretty much it. So let's just make sure that works. Oops, I didn't save it. Okay, see it disappeared. 
if I clear out my tokens, if I delete my uh, my cookies, and then refresh it, it should be there because I'm not logged in. But when I log in, oops, five signed in, it disappears because I now have a current user set. So now what I can do is um, when I am logged in, I can do div ng show equals current user. So ng hide if I'm logged in, ng show if I'm logged in. So when I'm logged in, I'm going to see slash div. Um, oops. Hello, and then my name. So current user, like so. So let's see how that looks. I'll put a period there. Refresh. Hello, day five. So there we go. I'm nice and I'm nicely greeted when I log in. Um, the last thing I want to do is only show this tweet box if I'm logged in. So um, actually, let's save that for another video. Um, next video, I'm going to make it so that whenever you tweet, it'll say the username of the person that tweeted. So that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, next time. Stay tuned. See you later.